we're setting up an instrument and we're trying to determine whether it's calibrated or not calibrated. What we're doing is we're setting up in the middle, we're going to take a shot to point A, and then we're going to take and take a shot to a peg behind me, point B. First thing we're going to do is when we set up, this is setting up the basis for the test. In the middle, it's A1 and B1. Taking this first shot, comes out, it's 3.86. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna log that in our field book and we're gonna put it in at 3.86. This is our instrument two, it is eight, uh, A1, so we're putting in 3.86 as our first reading. At this point, we're gonna be taking B1, but we need to move the rod from the A peg to the B peg. Placing the rod on top of the peg, we need to make sure that the rod is plumb. As we talked about with the total station, when you're reading the prism pole, the prism pole has to be plumb. What we're going to do with this is we're going to place this in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it from the side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it from the back. Checking it from the side, it looks pretty good. Checking it from the back, we look like we got to go just a little bit to one side. We're going to take and bump it up just a little bit. That looked like it got us into where we need to be. We'll check this. We're good to go. So at this point, we're going to take a reading. We're going to call it B1. Reading the rod, we're setting up, and the reading is 4.24. So at this point, we'll take and read it again just to make sure we've got it correct. 4.24. So when we take this and we put it in the field book and we show a 4.24 on these two readings, at this point, what we've been able to do is we've determined that between the two, the differences are 0.38. Now, Previously, we took the shots and we came up with 0.375 or around 0.38 with an instrument that we determined is likely calibrated. At this point, we're going to take readings to B2 and A2 setting up behind the A peg, and we should determine at that point whether the instrument's calibrated or not. If the difference comes out to 0.38 or 0.37, the instrument is considered to be calibrated. If it comes out differently, then it's non-calibrated. This is the basis for a peg test. Four shots, two in the middle to set the template, two behind one of the hubs to see if there's some sort of conical difference between the two, and we'll explain that in some of the slide sets that we have. set up a minimum of about four to five feet behind the A-hub so we can get it to be able to read. For convenience, what we're going to do is we're going to leave our rod on the B-peg and when we take that shot, because we're taking it from this position behind the A-peg, that shot becomes B2. So at this point, taking the rod reading, I'm coming up with a rod reading of 4.68. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, log it in the book as our B2, 4.68. Take one more look through before I move the rod just to be careful and make sure that we got a correct number. 4.68 is our number, so we're gonna move the rod to point A, and this will be A2.
checking to see if the rod is plumb again. We're good. Back and forth. Right, left, we look pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rod reading, A2. So at this position, what I've got is I've got a situation that we talked about in class. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pencil mark just to show that I'm hitting in the range of the four foot mark. So that's good. The reading is 4.21, 4.22, excuse me. So what we'll do is we'll put the 4.22 in the field book and see what our numbers look like. At this point, if I do the math, 68 minus 22 gives me 0.46. That's a tenth and a half of 14 hundredths. This is the determinant that tells me that the instrument is non-calibrated. If I do the math, which is gonna be in your slide sets, a2, excuse me, B2 is equal to A2 minus A1 plus B1. If we substitute the numbers into this inequality, 4.68 is equal to 4.22 minus 3.86. plus 4.24. So this is going to be 0.36 plus 4.24. So 4.68 is not equal to Four point six zero, and because this is not equal, this is a determinant that we determine that the instrument is not calibrated. I'm going to give you the data for four setups, two calibrated, two non-calibrated, and you're going to have to do the calculations similarly instead of the drawing. Now we will discuss this in our Zoom meet but what we've done is we've effectively determined that instrument two, which we've logged the make and model and serial number is not calibrated. We have determined by looking at the data, 0.38 and 0.37, we're within a half a hundredth, which is about five thousandths, which tells me that this instrument, the first one, is calibrated. Thank you for your participation. Please look closely because there will be questions related to this lab on at least a couple of the coming tests that will be occurring. Thank you.